Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy and with, with me is... <laughs> with me? Uh, with me. Uh, what's your name? Camille. <laughs> uh, we're recording this uh, tonight and then we'll release it tomorrow morning. But uh, I thought we could tell our story of how we met and why we're hanging out together so much. <laughs> and uh, a big reason because no one in Australia knows the full story and then some of our Lithuanian friends won't know much of the story. And uh, we just baked. We're so still baking. Below the screen is uh, chopped chip muffins, which we're hoping will work. We are using um, multi-grain, whole grain, whole, whole grain. grain flour, and we made the cookies out of the same flour, and it went pretty quickly, so we're hoping this will work as well. And then to the side is um, chicken and pumpkin, it's not a curry, stew. stew, and it's delicious, from the same book, on wooden On the in Lithuanian. That's how you say it. <laughs> uh, so, back in 2019, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. 18. Uh, Jeremy was um, on an online dating app called Tinder. Yes, he was. And so was you. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> and we matched originally on February. Something like that, yes. 2018, and apparently we had a little bit of a discussion. And then Jeremy unmatched me. <laughs> Sometimes the conversation gets dead. I seemed not interesting enough, apparently. Nope, you just wouldn't have responded. I did respond. And, um, or... Because I noticed up. that you unmatched me. It wasn't like... It wasn't <laughs> like you'd never spoken to me before, yeah. and I yes. just melted into... And it, I, it was for you. <laughs> and, um... Then we rematched on Easter. Yeah, April the 1st. April the 1st. But um, one of us was studying medicine and hadn't finished her... Uh, master thesis. I was thesis. graduating from med school and I had my master thesis. I had internships. I had motivational interviews for residency. My final exam of just medicine and my final exam of um, the internship. Like it's the practice exam. So many things to do. And whilst she was doing that, I was working twice a week and sometimes online in the night times and meeting up with people and just chilling. So I had a lot of time to um, be like, do you want to meet up? Do you want to meet up? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I didn't do that much well, because I understood that you didn't have time to meet up. Yeah, but you would like invite me from time to time and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I can again. And his first question to me on the app was, uh, do you like salmon? <laughs> and we do. We love salmon. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I asked lots of people that question. You might have, I don't that know. That could have been my question. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then finally there came a day, oh, actually you should tell the story because it was quite um, useful, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know which part you want to tell me. You want me to tell you. Uh, you're at your grandparents' room. Oh yeah, book. okay. So yes, I was, I just graduated, like I just uh, finished my last exam, I didn't have my diploma yet, but I had uh, finished everything I needed to do, and I went with my bike uh, to my grandparents' summer house, garden house. Summer house? Summer house, and I was eating an ice cream and reading a book, and I uh, got a notification, or, or maybe like I texted you, or whatever, like we somehow started texting. I think you once told it as you were like, I've got some time. Yeah, like, and, and I think maybe you texted me, yeah, I think you texted me, and then you were like, oh, like I'm gonna go watch football with this French friend that I have tonight, I think it was Deborah, and mm -hmm. uh, do you want to join? And I'm like, hmm, I don't really have anything to do, and it was a Sunday night, and I was like, yeah, like, um, definitely I'm free, and I kind of want to go out, and none of my friends are free. Yeah, I will do it. So I rode my bike back to home in the city, had a shower, and then I had to go to my dad's place to celebrate something. And then I met you in the evening, but because I, met, I could meet you only later, uh, it was too late for football. So we met in Spunga. Oh, that's what's happening. Yeah, and we met in Spunga, which is this amazing bar in the city that has, like, an outside terrace. But it's, it's like, like under courtyard. Roof. Courtyard, Boo, beautiful. And um, she walked in, and she was wearing like a leather jacket 
and a red shirt. It wasn't red, it was green. And a green shirt. <laughs> Why did I think it was red? Were you wearing something else red? Maybe, I don't know. And looking like a rock star, just walking in like confident as. And I don't think we stopped talking for like five hours. Yeah, like I guess I remember seeing you. We met in the, um, inside the bar because uh, we were ordering drinks. And I saw this like bearded hipster looking dude with a collared shirt you know. and like shorts. And I was like, yeah. He looks, he looks good, and I wasn't even like interested um, romantically because I kind of had a different crush at the moment. Ooh. So I was, but like I was just like I just want to be for friends, and we met and we talked for five hours, and I told you stuff that I I don't usually tell people that easily, and then I was like, hmm, I think I, I kind of like this person. And like my experience with Tinder, which is this online dating app for people who don't people understand, know. some people don't, <laughs> okay. was um, an outlet to meet people who spoke English good and that would get me out of the circles of socialness that I was already in. And I met some of the coolest people ever, and I still have like three or four okay. really good friends right now, yeah. Who are, now, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> who are now also getting married to different people <laughs> and now we're all being friends. Anyway, and so Tinder in my life has brought me good things. And so meeting her, I was like, maybe this is another good friend that I could have. And then when she walked in and she looked like a rock star and I was just like, you're a babe. <laughs> and then conversation is pretty easy for me to make interesting for myself. But she is so good at um, listening and uh, understanding and asking questions and changing topics so quickly that I was like, this is the best conversation I've had in a long time. And because she had traveled a bit and she was studying something that I have no idea about and she's had such a different life experience to me and she's so honest, it was just <laughs> like so good. So then when we got home, um, I wasn't going to add her on Facebook, because at that stage I just didn't want people on my Facebook. So we got onto WhatsApp. Or yeah, we, yeah, WhatsApp. And the first messages we sent in WhatsApp was, oh, look at the moon. It looks like the DreamWorks um, pictures. Logo. <laughs> and I looked out and I was like, what? That's crazy. And we like shared what it looked like to each other. And no, I you, still think I had that. You photographed a corner of your house because you said, I don't have windows that are facing that oh, way. Oh, true. So I tried to photograph the moon for you. That was weird. Sometimes I couldn't see the moon. Yeah. And um, then both of us had a pretty loose summer schedule. Well, although for the first week after we met, we met every single day. Yeah. In cafes, in parks, we would read a ton. And just walk around and just chat and it was so good and um, and like looking for I don't believe there's the one anymore but looking for that person my person uh, my dad had already always described my mom as just someone he could never stop talking to like he's never gotten bored of my mom they're just so interested in each other that they just keep talking and that's what I instantly felt about you. Aww. Like, it was just like, wow, you're so interesting. We will never stop speaking. <laughs> and we have quiet moments, but it's not and like we get bored of each other. And I don't get bored of you. I no, just... no, that's what I'm saying. Oh, we, we don't get bored of each other. And because we keep finding interesting things that we're new to or that the other one likes that isn't so much into. And so in one of the other videos I talked about how you've made me more interested about um, being outside and going on hikes and then um, how art has become a part of my life a lot and then cooking and stuff like that. So it's just been interesting. And then both of us went traveling in the summer or at the end of the summer. Uh, you went, I think, like a week after we met or something like that. And then I went in the middle of the summer. I think I went like from the, we met on June 17th. I think, <laughs> yeah. I think, and then I went uh, on a two-week vacation um, at the beginning of uh, July. Croatia? Yeah, Croatia, yeah. Montenegro, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Nice. And then I went to Jordan at some stage, and then I went to Prague. And oh no. No, you went in the autumn. To Prague. Oh, later. So Jordan was summer, and then later, 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 Prague. True. And but we went together to Bucharest and stuff. Oh yeah, we've done a few good little trips in Lithuania and it's been so nice 
and then there was this moment where, because I didn't know if I was staying in Lithuania for a while, and so then what? I'm just yeah, And and so uh, in the back of my head, I was like, this chick is amazing. This could definitely work, I think, but I might be kicked out of the country soon. So then it was like, and do I want to stay with what I'm doing currently, or am I going to move on to another project? And there was this moment where she was just real honest, and she was like, I think you're the one. Like, I think you're my person. No, you had better words. No, I didn't say that. I, I don't think that. I don't believe in that. But I said, I choose you. That's the and word. And why yeah. can't we stay together forever? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I choose you. And I was like, whoa, okay. And she was like, and I know, and you you made it very clear that I didn't have to choose you in that moment because you weren't sure where I was up to, but you just wanted to be clear, I choose you. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. All right. And then when I finally went on my trip through Prague to, um, <laughs> what's Budapest? That's Budapest. where I was going. Yes. I forgot what I was called yesterday. Uh, I left and it was like, all right, at the end of this trip, I'm going to figure out what I'm doing with my life almost. And one of the bigger decisions of that will be, do I choose you or am I just going to change my life completely and leave? And yeah, throughout that trip, there was just so many moments of like, what do I want with my life? And I think I love her. And <laughs> I think I'm going to choose her. And then the rest of that, year was just a roller coaster ride of okay now we've chosen each other but you still might get kicked out of the country this sucks boo yeah like it was ecstasy like for one month and yeah. then all the shit yeah and then almost the entire 12 months between that and when 12 months finished i changed jobs twice i changed where i was living twice or three yeah. times i had multiple immigration meetings that were just like, this is uncomfortable, I hate this. And I went, weren't in all of them, I think, as well. Yep, exactly. For translation. And so, and we learned so much about each other through stress, and we learned a lot about, like, this country and why we like it and why we have issues with it. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's been fun. So that's how we met, and that's some of the next part, but that's 12 minutes. And then later I got oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, let's see. <laughs> uh, that story is quite cute. Yeah, next time. Okay. Bye! Bye! <laughs>